You know, there, there is a method of madness. Uh, uh, Jordan really represents part of what we call the freelance community here in Pittsburgh. And in a creative industry study, uh, we identified 60 to 70,000 freelancers in the region. A lot of them in the arts community. 60 to 70,000. By the year 2020, 40% of the workforce in the United States are going to be freelancers. So there's a real opportunity here in the region to understand how we can attract more of them and retain them. The last example I have before we go to our, our panel right before break is AS220 in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, the reason we wanted to, to, to showcase this because it's really a study in uh, a creative reuse of, of, of housing stock. Basically, this started out in 1985 with an $800 budget and one room above the Providence Performing Arts Center. Uh, the AS stands for Artist Space, Alternative Space. It grew, you know, to seven studios, one performing arts center, and I think in 2006 they did a major fundraiser. They bought the Dreyfus Hotel in downtown Providence, and today they have 50 art lived workspaces. And, uh, you know, it's very interesting how they've done this adaptive reuse. I think the way we describe it is Pittsburgh Tech Shop meets the art group. And again, the reason we bring this up, when we look at regions we compete with, like uh, uh, Orlando and Las Vegas, for example, in the film and entertainment technology sector, you know, these are young cities. They're only 50 years old. They don't have the housing stock and the old buildings we do here. So I know, I know the mayor and some of the folks are thinking, how do we better reuse a lot of the C-grade housing stock we have in the city? What do we do to turn them into work live spaces to help attract and retain more artists? So what I like to do uh, right now is, is call up our four panelists.